Hello there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, today with Assemblymember Bob Blumenfield. How are you? Doing great, thank you. This is almost a, a catch-up, uh, an update, if you will, on some issues we were talking about months ago. And one of them dealt with the mobile billboards yes. and the unsightly, uh, I guess... I call it road spam. Yeah, okay, thank you. I was <laughs> it, it's, it's all of the, the, the nasty ads you get on your computer as spam have crossed over in, from the virtual world into the physical world and are, are manifesting themselves on our streets uh, through these mobile signs that are just unsightly and unwanted. And it is the, one of the biggest community complaints I've gotten in my district. About and them. if you don't understand what we're talking about, you brought, you brought a picture of what we're talking about. And this yeah. will hit home if we can take it up here on one of the cameras here. You see these all over town. They're all over the San Fernando Valley. They're starting to spread. It's like a cancer spreading across the the state and it's it's something that I'm hoping to prevent and stop right here and, and prevent this problem from spreading. It, these ugly billboards are parked in parking spots that that folks need to use. They're parked in front of people's businesses and in front of people's homes uh, on certain streets and uh, unfortunately the city has been unable to regulate them due to some state preemption and some mm -hmm. uh, some hurdles and they've been trying for years to get rid of them to no avail so I, I put introduced some legislation that's making its way through the process that will finally let the city ban these things or regulate them any way they want so that we can we can get rid of these awful things that are, are really a blight in our community so this is really the first step so the state says all right we're going to give you the power to do something about it los angeles or whichever city now you have to come up with a way of regulation, fines, things like that. Yeah, it, it allows. I mean, the cities have been coming up with these things left and right, and they want these they want these things gone, but they they haven't had the power. So this gives them the power to say, you can get rid of them. This, the, you know, the day after this this bill is signed into law, the cities will enact their the legislation that they have been putting forward and and we will finally be able to get rid of these darn things. And you have a lot of enthusiasm behind this. A lot of people really like this idea, you say. Well, I, I, I really like this idea. I mean, when, when I was running for office, I saw these things everywhere I would campaign, and I always thought to myself, these are just ruining our neighborhoods. I'm going to do something about that. And it's, it's nice to have a bill that can physically do that. And it's amazing. I, I've, all my other bills, I, I think, are very important and worth a lot of you know, interest by my constituency. This bill, dealing with this, has eclipsed all the other bills in terms of constituent response. I'm getting thousands and thousands of cards on this issue that people know I have this bill and they um, all want to get rid of these things. It makes sense. I need to go shopping. I can't park the things in the parking space. I can touch this thing. I can see this thing. So there's a connect with your, with your constituents and with those folks in the, in, in the community. In the little time we have left, let's talk about the, the, the second uh, item that uh, we want to update everybody on. And, and this is really uh, an attempt to help lower income folks stay in their homes by uh, postponing some of their property tax. Uh, where do you stand on that now? Yeah, th that, th there, was a, there used to be a state program, a property tax postponement program, that helped uh, seniors and uh, disabled below a certain threshold maintain their homes. I've, uh, that program unfortunately went out with the last budget and I'm reinventing that program in a creative way that won't cost the state general fund any money. It allows the counties to basically pick up this program and defer the property taxes for those seniors uh, and it also puts a moratorium so they won't be thrown out of their homes right away. That's making good progress. Uh, by the time the viewers are watching us that will be sitting on the governor's desk and he will be deciding whether or not he signs it. All right, and there's a, there's a little more of the fine print on all of this and how it's going to work. And if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and, and contact the assembly member's office here and get some of that. We always appreciate it. Uh, you've been working hard on these all two right. projects, and Thank looks you. like they're on their way to the governor. We appreciate you watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. This has been the Sacramento Report.